But we, he, Charlotte. The events were Charlotte? led by him. And it's not that he couldn't have known. His parents knew and told him not to go. So, thanks to me, it is partially on him. That's a nice little uh, statuette you got going there. I'm sorry I said nice little. That's a very demeaning thing to say. Hey. It's a nice statue. Thanks for coming. Of course. Ethan's dad already pick him up? Yeah, they just left. Oh, nice. You uh, g gifted him with some emo emotional trauma, too. I just Perfect. wanted to thank you. Ethan needed today. Oh, I needed it too, I think. Yep. Honestly, by the end, I was having just as much fun as he was. He thinks the world of you, you know. After everything, I think you're sort of his hero. Well, well I did save his life, mine. so you know. How creative he is. You must be so proud of him. He was so thrilled to see you show up with the sword. I think that was mostly about the sword. Maybe. But I think he was happy to see you in his world. <sighs> you cashed that check, didn't you? Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Charlotte? God, Alex, don't mind me, okay? Just... a lot going on. <sighs> I don't mind, Doc. I don't mind. Open up your heart. At all. Do you want to talk about it? You're really sweet, but I'm okay. Thanks for swinging by. I'll see you at the festival. Charlotte, I can tell some. Said no! Fuck, <gasps> don't you listen? Oh my god. Ah, oh, you're a real jerk. Come on. Yeah. You swore at me. Alright, let's dig into this. Uh, I, I help the son, I'll help the mother too. Uh, two for one. Where did that anger come from? Hold on, let me check my tasks. Um... SOS, uh, not sure LARP is happening. Ethan's not into it. Sounds like his dad is picking him up in a few hours to have my life. Any ideas? Let me try to talk to him. Be right there. Oh, hero. Dude, thank you so much. You totally killed it. Award-winning bard material right there. Thanks. You were pretty amazing too, you know? Aw, shucks. Cool. And I got another text uh, from Ducky, of all people. Uh, Dear Alex, what a marvelous event. I'm so glad I could participate in today's live-action roleplay. It brings me back to my days in theater. Did I ever tell you that I was uh, that I once essayed the role of Falstaff in my school's production of The Merry Wives of Windsor? With enough liquid pro prodding you, with enough liquid prodding you, may one day get me to recall a few verses. And thank you for including me in the festivities. It's nice to take my mind off things. Anyhow, you enjoy your first, uh, your very first spring festival. I can still remember mine. Clear as day. Sincerely, Reginald McAllister III. Thank you, Ducky. You were wonderful. Actually, hold on. Is that it? All right. Let's, uh, let me look at your block real quick. It looks like Charlotte is really pouring herself into her art. It looks like it's just her. This hurts to even look at. Oh, God. How much did it hurt to make? There's almost an innocence about this one. I wonder what it's saying. Wonder what's inside. There's some dark in here. I love it. Beautiful. So why does it kind of make my skin crawl? All right, you're real mean to me, but I'll help you out, all right? Oh, don't knock that over.
She's a real jack of all trades. Her anger is so intense. Maybe there's something here that can tell me why. Oh, uh, her anger is so intense. What do you think? Gabe, it's your fault. Why would you teach me to need someone again just to go and leave me all alone? your fault. Everyone loves you, but I can't look at you without thinking about how fucked everything is since you came into my life. Oh. No, it was your son's fault. You want to bear any responsibility for that? You POS. You emotional POS. I'm kidding. People could deal with, uh, you know, trauma in, 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 in their own ways. Alright, so, uh, I'm assuming your son is on here. It's you. Ryan? You were supposed to protect us. Why couldn't you? Come on, dude. Where's Ethan? She's so angry at everyone around her. But there's something else here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. That's interesting. Oh, is she angry at her son? I think she, I think that would be what this is. Oh, is that my? That looks a lot like my doll. I can't let myself feel this way. When oh. did I become such a fucking monster? Oh, there's there he is. There we go. All right. You're angry at him. At Ethan. Uh-huh. You blame him. Yeah. I'm a bad mom, Alex. Sure. I mean, you know, you should have I mean, yeah, you are a bad mom actually. Yes. <laughs> Charlotte. I hate my son Alex oh Jesus that is a very strong emotion he's sweet and he's creative and he's the most important thing in the entire universe to me and I hate him for so long it was just me and him it took so long to learn how to be okay with that and I was but then, Kate, I can deal with hating Ryan, or you, or even Gabe. But Ethan, if he had just listened, Gabe would still be alive. Yeah, oh, a oh, hundred percent. It all comes back to that. You're preaching to the choir. Your feelings matter. Your actions are, are what matter. I, I really wish they would have given me an opportunity to agree. Because I, I do think most people would say it's not the kid's fault. It's not 100% his fault. But he does have a part in it. And I would, I would agree on that bit. But your actions are what matters, I think. Yeah, it's with your actions. None of that makes you a bad mom. No matter what you're feeling, you always give Ethan what he needs. That's what matters. None of it fucking matters. He's dead. <sighs> I wish I were too. This anger could kill her. And nothing I'm saying is helping. What if... I could just take it away. Whoa, no, do not do that. That is a lot of grief and anger. Do not take 
all right, if they were going to give me a choice, I wouldn't do it. That is a lot. I can do it. I can take her anger from her. Do not do that. Absolutely do not. Give me a choice. What would that do to her? What would it do to me? You should not. And even if I can? No. Should I? No. Uh, no. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Um, leave her oh, gosh darn alone, dude. Do not take her anger. I don't think that's... I don't think it's healthy to just take it. You know? I don't want to seem like... Like, she is... She is suicidal. I wouldn't leave her alone. You know what I mean? But I wouldn't take her anger. Like, that's... It's a lot of emotion for... Alex to take. And I don't think she should. Um... And it's not her fault in any in any way. It is not her responsibility at all to take this. And it's a lot to take. It's not like, you know, it's not a little thing I'd be doing for her. I would do a little thing, but this is a huge thing. And I think she just needs to get through it, you know? And it's unfortunate. I don't think I don't think you can shortcut this. That's is I think what I'm trying to say. So I'm gonna leave her alone. I can't. I'm sorry, Charlotte. I don't know if that's the wrong thing to do in the lens of this game. I wouldn't leave her. I wouldn't leave her, but... Reassure. You're strong. You'll get through this. I guess we'll find out. Alright, we're rolling the dice here, I guess. I don't think. I think she will. Um, I hope so. It would be terrible if there was a suicide that I could have prevented. But I do not know what the ramifications would have been on me. And, I, you know, I don't want that to sound selfish, but it's not on Alex in any way to do this. I don't think just taking her anger is a healthy thing. Is Typhon run by the Illuminati? Hell no, you that an idiot. That would explain the conspicuously triangle-shaped logo. Boom. Finally cracked it. Hey. Alex. How'd you get in here? Who's the key? So, how did things go with Charlotte? Yeah, I should let people know for sure. I don't know. She was hurting so much. I thought I'd be able to help her, but I couldn't. If you couldn't help her, I'm sure no one could. So please tell me no, a therapist that the would USB help her. stick revealed all of Typhon's secrets. Not yet, but Alex. We found a recording of Gabe's call. Ooh, I want to hear this. I should probably put it on blast. Are we looking at a big twist? I need to know. Hold on, I gotta check my phone first. Um, Ethan. Hey, Alex, it's Ethan. I'm really sorry about that. The LARP was amazing. Really, you are a... Uh, you don't have to apologize. I had so much fun with you. Have a great time with your dad and stay safe. That would explain why they send him away, though. That would really explain why they send him away, because it is... Man, it is a strong possibility that suicide is an option. Let's read this journal, too, too while we're at it. Ethan Joy, I guess I'm used to feeling like the whole world changes... When I take on someone's emotion, but when what Ethan's joy did to Haven, the way it uh, lassoed the entire town and dragged it into his fantasy, I've never experienced anything like that. I actually felt Alex dissolve, slough, uh, slough off, and underneath uh, was just Alto. Alto. Um, it felt good to try on a different history, to remember a different life in a different world. But when the sirens came and Haven uh, snapped back into focus, I, I don't think uh, fantasy Alex could have done what I did. Ethan didn't need her. He needed me. That felt good. Monster or mortal, the forest notices, sky sword of power, horrible creatures stalk the street. Exactly the heroes I need. 
uh, we can pry jewels uh, from the claws on your behalf, or we can wear masks and stalk the streets. Are we monster? Are we mortal? Whichever you need us to be. And then Charlotte. Anger. Some anger blisters like old film stock stuck in a projector. It eats you up. From the inside melts away everything else until you are... Till all you are is a brittle shell and a boiling mass of blame and guilt. Make some art supposed to help, right? But it doesn't but it doesn't. Just fills your sharp fills your shop with reminders of what a person you are. Don't know how I knew I could do it. It was like suddenly noticing an extra limb somehow in invisible until the very moment I thought I thought to use it. I could reach inside, find Charlotte's anger, turn it down, turn it off. Uh, teach me to need someone again. I I can't look at you. Supposed to protect us. When did I become such a monster? But I didn't. I could have, but I didn't. I didn't know what it would do to her. Who she'd be after. I took the pain away. I felt like such a violation. Hadn't she earned the right to be angry? Yeah, I, I agree. I was so sure that... I don't want to manipulate. I don't want to, like, straight up take the emotion away. Like, helping someone to work through it is different than just straight up taking it. I was so sure that I was helping people, that whatever else I am, I could at least offer this one thing to those who need it, but Charlotte's hurt is bigger than me, stronger. I have to hope that I can do more good by walking away than I could by meddling. I'm carving you out of stone, finally learned how to need someone, crack your coffin, penny for your thoughts, on the monster I've become. Or is it, oh, oh. Yeah, no, I, I think I made the right choice. I don't think that's the choice most people would have made. I'd like to see we're it, and we're getting you. there. Okay. All right. Let's get to it. Type in safety. Mac? It's me. Fuck off, Jen. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just listen. I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan's in the blast radius. Shit! He could get killed. What the hell's wrong with you? He snuck off. We're, we're up here right now, trying to find him. Mac, please. All right, I'm on it. We'll hold the blasts. Fuck. You can't imagine the headaches this will create for me. Thanks, Mac. Whatever. Just doing my job. I mean, yeah, that's exactly kind of what I thought would what, what, what had happened. Nord him. It's so fucked. You know it's bad when Mac turns out to be the good guy. You okay? We're taking these fuckers down. Ooh, do you think the episode ends on a dramatic laptop close? Fade to black? This USB stick oh. has what I need. Oh, it's still going. Time to dig through it. Whatever's going on with Typhon, it wasn't worth Gabe's life. Talk about looking for a needle in a haystack. We're gonna get- We're going to get them for you, Gabe. A cold case and a warm beer. This time, I don't think Gabe would mind his little sister messing with his stuff. A key part of any good investigation Gotta find joy in the little things. Right, Gabe? Steph went all in so we could get our hands on this. Let's hope it makes a difference. She went all in. So, she flirted. How fucked are we? Pretty. Pretty much. If we huh. can't work it out ourselves... 100%. I could always just seduce the truth out of Diane. Oh, you really think so? Uh, yeah. You saw me in action, right? Ryan's pretty good at this detective stuff. We're gonna get them, okay? Yeah, I know we will. Thanks for spilling your guts. Typhon gave us this table? Oh, oh it's a pallet. Uh, let's let me look at this map. Ryan brought this down from his station. Hope it comes in handy. Um, trail top off, uh, Typhon pit. Um, okay. Nothing too useful there. Alright, let's get on this laptop. Gabe's call came in from the sat phone at 8.41 p.m. I should find the next call and see if that has any information. 
Um, 841, can I just play this every ACSD. call? How can we feed you? Is the good picking chicken thing still going on? It sure is. Nice. Uh, let me get a large order of the spicy nuggets. Excellent. Ooh, good call. And would you like the biscuit and gravy or the mashed potatoes and gravy? Oof. Uh, okay. I, uh... Biscuits. Sir? Oh, fuck. Um, sorry. Do you, do you need a minute? No. No, no. I'm, uh, gonna go with the bis... Uh, potatoes. Yeah, let's just do potatoes. You could do both for 50 cents extra. Oh my god. You still there? Yeah. No, um... <laughs> no, that's okay, just the potatoes. Okay. I've got you down for a large order of spicy nuggets with potatoes. That'll be ready for you to pick up in about 30 minutes. Thanks. That was riveting. If you think I'm not listening to all these calls, you don't know me. Lace Flowers, this is Riley. How can I help you? Hey, babe, it's me. Mac, hey! What's up? I'm on lunch. Oh, you're not going to believe what J-Man did this morning with some of the new diet. Hey, so I'm not sure about this part here. It's Mac. Is that Gabe? Hey, Mac, can we talk later? I'm kind of busy. Busy how? Let's hang out when you get off, okay? Hold up. Why is Gabe there? Okay. Talk soon. I love you. Wait, Riley. Oh, Mac. I feel like she should have been a little honest, but I don't know. I feel like there, she should have been a little honest. Honesty is important, right? You shouldn't lie. Keep people in the dark. Hi, Belt Plumbing. How can I help you? Hi, I'm, uh, I'm of Typhon Mining. I think we had one of your plumbers up here last week. Typhon Mining. Uh, give me just one second to check our records. Yes, I have a record of a service call regarding some sewage backup. Yeah, well, yeah, it's that's... not fixed. Yep. Yeah, so, um, I don't think it's fixed. The field report I have says that the issue was diagnosed and solved. Can you describe what you're seeing? Sewage oh, dog. Uh, you, you know, I, I really can't. Look, can you just send someone? I'll have someone out to you later this afternoon. Great. Have a nice day. Yeah, I doubt Nice. What a Nasty. call. All right, what's next? Good morning. This is Diane. Hi, Diane. It's Rose down at Town Hall. Hey, Rose. Oh, shoot. You? Oh, I'm busy as a bee this time of year. You have a second? Some folks have come in here with some questions about the expansion and all that. I was hoping you could give me some answers to pass along to them. I'll do my best. What are the questions? Let's see here. Okay, first question. How many jobs do you expect to create by opening a second pit? We'll be starting with 25 new positions, but that number is expected to grow to 45 within the first year. Oh, give me just a moment here. Oh. Jot that down. All right. Colorado's not the Midwest, yeah. right? Number of questions regarding risks for pollution, water, air quality. Oh, she is cetera. not answering that. Anything you can offer there? We're you know, going to do our best let we me can. Pass that on to our yeah, there we go. Outreach department. They'll get back to you with all the relevant fact and figures. Oh, sure, sure. Can we have the irrelevant ones as well? Last one. They want to know if there will be more mining vehicles driving through town. Yes, we will be increasing our transportation needs somewhat with the expansion. But to minimize disturbance, we plan to direct drivers to stick to approved trucking routes. And of course, never after 6 o'clock. Never after 6. Thanks so much, Diane. That's all I have for you right now. My pleasure. Have a good one, Rose. You too. Diane is really good at pretending to be a person. Ooh. Typhon Mining, this is Brandon. Hello, I'm calling from the Department of Land and Resources to confirm the inspection set for next week. Yeah, let me grab Diane for you. Thanks. This is Diane. Hi, Diane. I'm calling to... Confirm inspections? <laughs> yes. Did you have a chance to look over the email I sent? I did. Everything looks great. Glad to hear it. I'll Can you respond? Mm-hmm. Have a good one. You too. There must be a lot riding on these inspections. Type in safety. Mac? It's me. Fuck off, Chin. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just listen. I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan's in the black. Oh, this is the call we just heard. Shit. He could get killed. Um, what the hell's wrong with you? He snuck off. We're we're up here right now trying to find him. Mac, please. All right. I'm on it. We'll hold the blasts. Fuck. You can't imagine the headaches this will create for me. Thanks, Mac. Whatever. Just doing my job. All right, let's hear all these calls. Lena, it's Diane. We have a problem. You're kidding. There's a kid lost in the mountains near the pit. We need to postpone. Lena? Haven is your site, Diane, and therefore this is your decision. I know I don't need to remind <gasps> you of the state. Someone she did it anyways? Or killed. We've been over this. 
Anyone up there has disregarded posted notices and a child liability. We're talking about a child. I'm just asking for one day. If you postpone tonight's scheduled blast, you put Rhea in jeopardy. That puts the whole company in jeopardy. Is that what you want? No. Then do the math and make the right call. Email me when it's done. I will. What the hell is Rhea? Must have been pretty damn important. Maybe Diane says more about it in her email? Maybe. Let me see if I can find it. No, I'm still listening to the calls. What is Rhea? Oh, all right. Hello, Diane. Is it safe to assume you've gotten your emotions under control? Oh, F you, Lena. My emotions? Someone was killed last night because of a decision you made. I think... I would be very careful with what you say next. Who do you think is more at risk here? Me or you? Excuse me? Now, of course, we're all committed to helping you make it through this difficult period. We don't want to see anyone be scapegoated over an unavoidable accident, right? Right. Great. Then you and I are aligned. Who else knew there were people in the mountains? Just my safety manager, Mac. He got their distress call just before I contacted you. Do you trust him? I... I think I can convince him to be trustworthy. Good, good. Only nah, dude, he's going to snitch on you, and rightfully so. I think we're going to make it through this just fine. Speak to you soon. Okay. I refuse to feel bad for Diane and all this, but damn. HNB Investigations. Bennett speaking. Hi, Bennett. This is Diane Jacobs. Lena told me... Yep, been expecting your call. Okay. I'm not sure what the next step is. Just need all the pertinent information on the employee in question. Name, number, address, significant... My God. They literally the blackmailed him. I see. Just come by the office. My secretary will take everything down. No records that you were even there. Got it. Okay. I'll come by tomorrow. Looking forward to it. It's so gross that Typhon has people watched. Oh my God. That is disgusting. All right, what's next? Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hello, Diane. A newspaper. My name is Rory Praha. I'm a journalist with the Rocky Mountain Gazette. We'll be printing a story on last night's accident in the paper tomorrow. Would you like to provide a comment? Yes, I would. Last night's accident was tragic and made all the more unfortunate by the fact that it could have been avoided with a simple phone call. <gasps> a simple phone call. Can you speak more about that? Of course. Typhon always has a safety manager on duty. One quick call from Mr. Chen to our 24-hour emergency line would have alerted us that there were people in the danger zone, and we could have reacted accordingly and stopped the blasts. Are other Haven citizens in danger of meeting the same fate as Gabe Chen? Oh, 100%. As long as you heed the warning signs, you will be safe. And if you ever do find yourself in an emergency, that's what our emergency line is for. There's no danger whatsoever. All right. We'll be sure to include your comments. Thanks for giving me your time, Diane. Have a nice day. I almost threw up listening to that. Same. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Diane, it's, uh, it's Jason. Hello, Deputy. You have good news for me? I suppose I do. You are officially cleared to continue regular operation. The county no longer considers your pit an active crime scene. Well, that's a huge relief. Now, to be clear, the investigation is still open and active. Typhon hasn't been cleared of anything yet. Sure, I understand. But can we start mining again? Yes, you can start mining again. Is there anything else? Nope. No, that's it. Well, thanks for the call. Yeah, no problem. Take care, Diane. You too. Seems a lot easier to get away with murder than you'd hope. You know, we never uh, called Pike. Uh, to give a statement, but I guess we are collecting evidence still. Mining. Diane? Oh, hey, Joe. How are you? I'm good. Doing real good. So I have a pretty good list of candidates to go over with you. Looks like I've got 40 names. Great work. When can we go over it? Uh, hey, Diane, can I be candid for a moment? Please. It's just, well, we've all been following the news, and I don't know, after that accident... Joe? I just want to be sure... There really are positions waiting for these people. There's nothing to worry about. If you have qualified candidates to show me, I have jobs to offer them. Glad to hear it. You free Tuesday afternoon? Around three? Sure. Great. Looking forward to it. Me too. See you later, Joe. I hope Typhon has a nice severance package. Ooh. All right. 
Let's check out that uh, call or that email. What is Rhea? Um, got a few. Let's start from the bottom. Who would have thought getting away with murder would be so bureaucratic? All right, I love to read. Inspection details. Uh, the uh, co-department of land and resources. Uh, to Diane Jacobs. Hello, Diane. I'm emailing to inform you that we've set a date for the inspections on your two sites. Please uh, thoroughly review the info below. I'll give you a call in the in the next couple days. Uh, to confirm the details, uh, decommissioned coal shaft, 295042, inspection set for, um, uh, this is April 30th, 2019, inspection points will be uh, going down into the closed shaft to ensure Typhon has uh, taken proper precautions to stabilize the land post-collapse. Uh, is that a link? Are these links? These are links. And the proper shaft uh, closure uh, procedure was followed, uh, active uranium pits. Uh, this is a general protocol inspection. Please run business as usual on this day. I look forward to meeting you. Is this and a And I link? thought above-ground mining was terrifying. Wow. Oh, the she timing just of all on this? this is too convenient to be a coincidence. Oh, so, I see. All right, let's uh, keep moving. Too Dennis bad Walker money can't fix all of Typhon's problems. Uh, Dennis Walker to Diane Jacobs. Hello, Diane. Sorry to hear about the troubles that you're having with your hauler. I spoke with someone, uh, some folks about getting the brakes fixed, but given the upcoming expansion, I've decided to go ahead and buy a new one. We'll send you out a 789 hauler. Should be efficient enough to handle two pits. The bat guys say they'll have it there next week. Dennis. Wait. Does this mean someone at Typhon feels actual human emotion? No. Not buying it. He's talking about it like it's a sure thing. I mean, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't he be talking about it like it's a sure thing? They plan for inspections. Um, they, you know, they they do they don't not plan ahead. All right, but Damn. whatever. Is this what Diane sold her soul for? Elena Clark to Diane Jacobs. Hello, Diane. After our recent conversation, I took the liberty of expediting your application to our executive training program. We will move forward with your enrollment as soon as you have the situation in ha Haven all wrapped up. Best, Elena. What a polite way of saying, I control you, and don't forget it. Situation? You mean that guy you killed? This is the email Diane mentioned. So what is Rhea? Uh, tonight's operations, uh, 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 to Lena Clark. I warned you, Lena. I effing warned you. Rhea went off undetected, as you insisted, and now someone is dead. Uh, you better have a plan. I am not going down for this. At least not alone. Oh, shoot. I'm, I'm reading this email wrong. Or am I? 428-942. Oh, th these are at the same time. Oh, 10.03. Oh, okay. This is actually ordered correctly. Um, this is from uh, Lena. I understand that you're upset and emotional, emotional about tonight's tragic, unavoidable accident. Therefore, I am choosing to overlook this momentary lapse of judgment. I'll be calling first thing uh, tomorrow to discuss how we move forward. I suggest you take the night to cool off, Lena. Um, if you're wondering why these emails are kind of worded the way they are, unavoidable accident, it's to, it's a word they use um, uh, in emails to kind of, because they look at your emails. They're going to look at your email chain in any uh, investigation. Um, so they want to be sure to pepper in words like unavoidable stuff in emails to show that, like, you know, it wasn't a coincidence. Of course, this first email is... Uh, the second email actually might kind of cover for the first one. Alright, whatever. Rhea went off... Oh, no. I didn't get to read the last email. Is a second blast that night? They only had permits for one. What did Lena say? Without the scheduled blast, Rhea would be discovered? Shit. The blast that killed Gabe was just a cover for another explosion? Ooh, that's big. That's a big Didn't call. Didn't hear another explosion, though. It must have gone off somewhere else. If we can find out where it was... That might tell us what it was for. Oh, okay, cool. We're not out yet. All right, let me 
A second blast. That's a Bond villain type stuff. He had a name, and a life, and a girlfriend, and a sister. I bet this is when Diane decided to start copying evidence to this USB stick. Wow, that's a funny way to spell criminal negligence. Seems like a lot is hanging on these inspections. Hey Diane, I wanted to congratulate you on your efforts in the Haven Springs expansion campaign. I just got word back from the state and we've officially passed inspections. Pop some champagne, you've earned it. All that's uh, left now is the vote. I've been hearing great things about your progress with the town members sponsoring the Spring Festival. It was a nice touch. Keep up the great work. We're in the home stretch. Whatever Typhon was up to, it looks like they've all but gotten away with it. Of course that was Diane's idea. I'm gonna make sure this expansion fails if it's the last thing I do. So I realize this is fictional, and this is not an actual, like, corporation. Um, but like, you know, it's stuff like this. Like, anytime anybody sponsors anything, I'm like, ah, oh, man, what's the ulterior motive? And I guess I'm cool with the ulterior motive being like, I we want to get our names out there. Uh, we want to uh, plaster our name on this event. That's advertising. But like, you know, stuff like this to kind of just get in the good graces so you can do other shadier stuff. Um, and, and, and image uh, management and stuff like that, that, that bothers me. Um, but whatever. Hey, this is fictional, but it is uh, probably uh, very real. All right, let's go ahead and look at that final browser. So we're looking for a second blast, a ray schematic is probably what Diane we want. Diane has dossiers on the entire Haven Council. That's not creepy at all. Oh, yeah, it is. Eleanor Lath. Uh, vote uh, status probable. Granddaughter student loans. Pressure points. Jesus. Granddaughter student loans. Medical expenses. A native of Haven Springs, Eleanor Lath is well respected by council members and citizens alike. She holds considerable sway, but is unlikely to dissent on her own. Though her granddaughter was close to Gabe Chen, she appears not to question Typhon's ac account of the accident. Typhon knows about Eleanor's dementia. Oh, it's Shit. dementia. Well, that's what I said, right? Yeah, I, I said all Alzheimer's are dementia, but I thought it was dementia. Um, uh, Je Jedediah Lucan, council member since 2008, council chair since 2012, the Black Lantern, vote status secured. It so won't you be think. so secure once we tell Jed what really happened that night. No pressure points. Jed is viewed as a local hero, hero due to his uh, rescue of 19 hell divers during a collapse in 2008. Strong ally, ally, use him as a resource to secure other council members' votes if necessary. Charlotte Harmon, she's on the board too. Jeez. Council member since 2016, business owner, Silver Dragon Dispensary, vote status unknown, pressure points, business overhead, Sons College Savings, which is what they are going after. A well known small business owner in Haven, Charlotte, will prove instrumental um, to getting the buy in of both other uh, business owners and the 20 to 30 demographic as Gabe Chen's girlfriend she may be a lost cause corporate approved making a financial offer you receive the details soon you're not gonna be too happy about that I knew that affidavit gave me a bad feeling oh yeah any a hundred percent uh McAllister Reginald uh, original the third Reginald McAllister the third ducky council member since 2001 vote status probable pressure points grief over deceased wife a strange relationship with daughter. We've been able to dig up very little about Ducky's past, but we do know that he arrived in Haven shortly after resigning from the board of his own company due to a falling out with his daughter. Ducky has voted with Jed in every prior instance, making his vote all but secured. Poor Ducky. I didn't know. And last but not least, Jason Pike, member since 2003, votes that is unknown. Pressure points career as sheriff's deputy seems to have a crush on on you oh really Jason Pike has uh, been a sheriff's deputy in Haven for eight years for over eight years he and the company have skirmished over small violations in the past but we see no evidence he harbors anti typhon sentiment double down on typhon's commitment to the community that's likely your best angle see it's like stuff like this too. what Pike has a okay bigger fish to fry right now all right um, so that's probably what we want to look at. Let's look at the uh, uh, Loudon Don report. Uh, da, 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 Brandon Whitaker Mac Loudon. Oh shoot, this dude. 
Code name uh, Dione. What is this? Do all corporations use supervillain code names, or Dione? just the evil ones? Um, crew president twenty, crew hundred zero. Da, 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 notes, a signature, ineligible. No notes. Cause you can't document a call you claim never happened. Oh, true. This that's exactly the same time the blast that killed Gabe went off. The expected hall was left blank. No permit? That's gotta be illegal, right? Probably why she's keeping it. Um, check bag. Uh, I guess I Mac was right to be so paranoid. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the results of uh, that investigation Mac alone done. Uh, John McCormick Mac loaded. His name is John? Holy shit. Mac's real name is John? Um, investigation type, asset management. Investigation summary. Surveillance of subject's home began 9.30 a.m. Subject remained out of view until 1 p.m. When he appeared to use the bathroom, subject left home at 8 p.m. Was tailed to dispensary and back home. Subject rename, remained in his home for the remainder of surveillance. 4.30, subject remained in his home all day. Received one visitor, identified as former girlfriend, Riley Lathe, who went inside and uh, stayed for just under an hour. Subject's behavior appears to be consistent with depression. It feels wrong to be looking at this. And yet, I can't look away. Subject was uh, followed to the wake. And then to Lathe Flower, subject argued... With girlfriend, then was seen talking uh, with a woman identified as Alex Chen. That's me. Erratic behavior observed, but subject seems to have calmed after interaction. Flight risk remains. Fuck. They saw that. Oh yeah, hundred percent. All right, let's look at these schematics. This is Raya. Fuck. This map's too small to tell where this is. Oh well, good thing we have a big boy map. Oh yeah, I know. You guys feeling any different? Whatever's going on with Typhon. Yeah, no. It wasn't worth Gabe's life. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. That's the site of the 2008 Typhon mine collapse. Wait. They set off a blast in their current mine to cover up a blast in their old mine? That shaft was exhausted years ago. There's nothing left to dig up. What could possibly be down there that's so important to them? Typhon just had to pass a bunch of inspections at the old site, didn't they? Yeah, so? So, I don't think they were digging something up. Oh, achievement, you ruined they it. They were burying something. Or someone. I think Jed will know a little bit more. Um, I feel like they are going to be coming after Jed's character very soon. Um, Alex chose Steph uh, to distract Diane. I'm in the majority on that. And Alex left Charlotte with her anger. I am in the minority, but I think that's a good call. I think that's a good call. Um, Alex made Diane angry. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. Um... Alex didn't play a record. Yeah, I didn't because I didn't. I don't want to get. Uh, I don't want to get any. Um, you know, copyrights. Alex didn't weed the rooftop garden. Yes, I did. Did I not? I did. Was there a bunch of weeds in the garden? I did do that. I swear I did. Whatever. Um, Ethan and Alex were never knocked out in battle. Oh, for sure. We barely battled. In fact. Um, the troll was subdued with the magic powder. I am almost in the minority. I could have bribed him. Uh, the serpent was put to sleep in the majority on that. Uh, Steph helped Alex find out what Typhon was up to. Steph stormed out of the apartment. That was an option. Uh, King Tabor was vanquished in the final battle. Wow. Nobody found the, uh, vow to return for, uh, his revenge option, huh? Maybe if, you, maybe if you lose, that's what happens. Um, uh, Riley found out about Eleanor's dementia. Riley, dang, she could have found out. Nobody was in that group. Alex helped the student focus on her work. Cool. Alex and Ethan solved the justice riddle. Yes, we did. Alex and Ethan helped the blacksmith uh, with his work. Yeah, we did. All right, folks. I think that's going to be uh, the wrap-up. 
for today's episode. Um, easily and by far and away the best episode uh, so far. Um, by far. Um, yeah, I'm really kind of enjoying this game. And I want to say that a lot. Uh, this is a game... Uh, they, 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 they kind of turn some things on its head with... Uh, Taking some uh, light RPG elements and, and adding them into this uh, a LARP for it. It was really, really fun. It was really, really fun. We got a lot of information this episode as well. Unlike the last episode where we were kind of like finding things out that we already knew. Which, uh, you know, wasn't super interesting to me that this episode was really good. Um, if you want to leave a like, God forbid, subscribe, you can. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope to see you guys next time. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this consistent. I think there's only, I don't know how many chapters there are, I would assume five, and I would assume there's only two more to go, but we'll find out. I could hit chapters, but I don't want to accidentally spoil anything. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys next time. Have a good rest of whatever day uh, you might be watching this. Adios.